prepare a four and a quarter by five and a half inch white card base and go ahead and score it, but don't fold it yet to make it easier to work with. Then mask off the top and bottom of the card front. I'm using sticky post-it uh, tape, but you could use something else, either sticky notes or washi tape or whatever works for you. Begin sponging in the middle of the cardstock using Gina K Sweet Corn Ink. Switch to Gina K Sweet Mango Ink and continue sponging, working above and below the yellow ink. Next, switch to Gina K Bubblegum Pink ink and continue sponging. And this pink is going to act as a transition between the orange and the blue, so you really don't need to put much in. You just want to have it to bridge the gap between those two colors a bit. Next, use Gina K Powder Blue Ink and continue sponging, this time working all the way to both mask lines. And I apologize for the blurry video. I'm not sure why it's blurry in this section, but uh, it gets better later. Switch to blue denim ink and continue sponging, working from your top mask down into the lighter blue color. Cut out a small circle that'll be a mask for your sun and then hold it in place using repositionable tape. Then use a sticky note or post-it tape to mask off where you'd like your horizon line to be. Sponge along that horizon line with a little more Gina K Sweet Corn ink. After removing the masks, I decided I wanted to have um, a strip of land or an island in the background. So I'm reusing uh, the long sticky note that I used uh, that I, for the horizon line and just tearing along the edge, making it pretty uneven. And that'll be the top of my land mass. Go ahead and place that slightly above your horizon line and then come back with another piece uh, that's just straight and place that a little below. Then sponge in that open area created between your two masks using Gina K Black Onyx ink. After sponging, remove any masks you have left on your cardstock.
Use an opaque white gel pen to add some ripples to the water by just drawing in some random horizontal lines here and there. Next, we'll create some clouds in the sky, and I'm starting with a C1 Copic marker and just adding in some wispy clouds here and there in the sky. Then I switch to the C3 Copic marker to deepen the shading on those clouds. Switch back to that C1 marker to blend the two colors together. Now you can leave the clouds just like that, but if you'd like some more highlighting, you can use your Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen and just add some white along the bottom of the clouds and then smudge with your finger to blend that in. With the background scene all created, now it's time to do our stamping. This image is from the Wetlands 2 stamp set from Gina K Designs, and I'm just going to position it right in the middle of the scene, then pick it up with my Misty stamp positioner, and then I'll ink the image with a VersaFine Black Onyx ink. Next, I'll determine the placement for the sentiment and the flying bird in the background, and then I'll stamp those with VersaFine Black ink also. All that's left now is to fold and crease the card. And that completes today's video. Thanks for watching.